ChrisForHobbyKing.com and today we have the Basher Rockstar, which is a 124 scale rock uh, crawler. A little bit different from uh, most rock crawlers you see out there, which are more of a scale. This is going after the new trend in the real rock crawlers, which is just uh, full cage style uh, rock crawlers with uh, a rear steer, front steer with a heavier articulation. Really cool. Uh, let's just talk about the chassis. Full roll cage chassis, just like you'd see in the real ones. Uh, laser engraved uh, metal uh, um, uh, rollover plates and as far as articulation you can see over here it's getting uh, uh, nearly 70 degrees of full articulation extremely soft suspension on that and let's also note the tires uh, tires are uh, insert free so they're extremely soft so as you get up over rocks they'll, they'll they'll wrap around and give you that full traction really nice shore rating on those really sticky and and uh, smooth so some of the other cool uh, features about this versus a lot of those other mini rock crawlers that are on the uh, the market is that it's got independent front and rear drive instead of drive axles which definitely allows for heavier and easier, more articulation in that. Um, easier setup as far as the chassis is concerned. Um, is just a lot of huge benefits with that as well. Now it is a front and rear steer, so it's got two nine gram servos front and rear, but if you don't like the, uh, the rear steer, you can lock that out. It's got adjustable caster points that you can adjust on that as well as locking that out. Some of the other uh, key features is the water bay right underneath here has an O-ring, which creates a uh, water resistance in there. It has upwept or, or uh, canna levered uh, lower arms, giving you ample uh, rock uh, clearance right into that center section, so you're not going to get high centered underneath there as well. Now, the other cool thing about this rock crawler, instead of having to upgrade, where a lot of them, uh, you know, on the market, you must buy the rear steer servos and different things, as well as then program or get a, a real advanced three channel radio to take advantage of those, is that we have a very uh, special version of the G2 that was designed for rock crawlers. Let me demonstrate that. So right in here, first thing we're gonna have is just your standard uh, forward and reverse, uh, reversing of your steering servos and your throttles, and of course, your, your power button itself. But you're gonna notice there's three rockers right in here. And since we have front steering, rear steering, and of course throttle, we're gonna need uh, three separate uh, trims so we don't have that dog tracking as we're driving forward. Then we have a single mode button with four LEDs. Conventional mode, uh, which I'm in right now, is just front steer. So as we, as we rock crawl around, we just have standard front conventional steering. The next mode that we're gonna kick it over to is rear steer. So now it's gonna be like a forklift and you can use this to crab around different, uh, different rocks. Now, uh, one of the, uh, the more interesting uh, uh, steering uh, things, and now for me to rotate these, all I'm doing is push this button. You can see that the LED is switching. So if you get in a uh, predicament, I was right here for a crab, if you get in a predicament where you need to get this up and over healer in certain angles, watch the, uh, the wheels on this. They're both now going the same direction. So it's actually side shifting. So that's, uh, that's a really cool uh, feature uh, to have while you're rock rolling. And then of course, four wheel steering to get into those tighter, uh, those tighter corners where I'm gonna push that. So the fourth steering mode, now they're, now they're going and you can see it can almost turn in its own radius right in there. So that is epic when you're in the uh, crevices and, and trying to go up different canyons. So you've got a lot of different steering options. Another thing I wanna note that's critical on uh, rock crawlers is its slow speed control. And on this setup uh, with those dual motors uh, having ample torque, uh, on this throttle range, you can see that I can just make this thing crawl ever so slightly. And as far as torque is concerned, even at these slower speeds, just check this out. Absolutely no problem. One thing I wanna mention, we're gonna have two versions of this, which is our RTR, which comes with this nice uh, uh, rock uh, crawler radio, as well as we're gonna have the kit version, which is for the advanced player. Doesn't come with any of the radio gear or the motors or the servos, so this is definitely for the advanced user that's definitely wanting to kit this out and make it their own. Definitely check this out, it's up on the new items page. Awesome product, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.